When you log on to the web, you're told to only go to trusted sites. Well, one subject area is proving to be untrustworthy, filled with hackers. News 10's Ron Moore explains it may not be the site you're thinking of. Point, click, and search. You're browsing the web, and if you're responsible, you're avoiding sites that could be harmful. You know the types, or do you? According to the Semantic Internet Threat Report, religious church sites seem to be a growing target for hackers. Shocked? Well, this computer expert isn't. It doesn't surprise me because the sites are often maintained by volunteers who may not have any formal IT training. Here's a list of the top five most infected site classifications. Religion isn't specifically named, but experts say a huge number of blogs and private sites, the top two, are religious. Get this, the study actually says religious sites are more likely to host a virus than pornographic websites. Zerner explains. The church does not have a revenue generating purpose to their website as those other sites do, and so those other sites have a larger budget to keep their websites operating properly. He goes on to say that many of the attackers hack the religious sites, replacing material with an opposing religious view. Now, as always, you should be cautious when searching the web, but the study isn't telling you to avoid the sites altogether. However, Zerner hopes the threat report is a wake-up call to places of worship. And I think it should be the attention of the church just to make sure that uh, they're protecting their own members and any other visitors who may come to their website. Just as locking the doors became a necessary practice to secure their buildings, they'll have to do the same lockdown online. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Cody Murphy, Rondrell Moore, News 10. Zerner gives plenty of advice on how churches can beef up security on their websites. If they don't have a full-time web expert on staff, you can see his suggestions by going to our website.